Hey guys, welcome aboard to this week's cruise chat. I'm so happy that you're here. I'm going to be meeting with Mary Lynn and we are actually going to be dividing our videos into two this week. So they're going to be two separate files. That way they're not quite as long. <clears throat> I'm going to be meeting and we're going to be talking about Emerald and Scenic Ocean, ocean going vessels. And I cannot wait to show you guys that. They have some phenomenal products. They are beautiful, beautiful. Um, there's absolutely some exploration ships, uh, expedition ships, and there's the small ship mega yachts. So make sure you guys stick around for the next video and check that out. So we're just going to head right on over. So let's hop aboard and let's go. Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's cruise chat. I'm Kathleen Penner, owner of Plenty of Sunshine Travel. And today I'm meeting with Mary Lynn, and this is the first time I've had a chance to meet with Mary Lynn personally, although I have met with Scenic and Emerald Cruises before. And if you guys want to go back and look at that playlist, by all means, it's a great playlist. I'll put it in the link below too. And uh, by all means, take a look at that because we've got some great content. But today I'm really excited because we are going to be talking about their ocean cruises that they have. So often with Scenic and Emerald, we think of their river cruises. But today we're going to be talking about what's on the ocean and I am very excited uh, for this presentation because I learn all along with you guys, my, your, my subscribers. So I'm just going to turn it right over to you, Mary Lynn, and I can't wait to learn. All right. So who is Scenic? Uh, the Scenic Eclipse uh, difference. We are redefining ultra luxury cruising. So we're six star, truly all inclusive. I mean, when you walk on board, um, there is only a couple of things that you would have to pay for and th those are your personal preferences mm -hmm. to do with uh, you know spa treatment or the helicopter the submarine so truly all-inclusive small ship we're only 228 guests 200 in antarctica there's a reason for that um that is by uh the law that we can only have 100 people on shore at a time so right. by limiting to 200 we know we can take all of our guests off in two, uh, two excursions, so 100 at a time. And that's perfect because um, we're really thinking of the cons uh, the guest at that point, as opposed to, you know, we're going to just load it up and, and make more money. But no, you want to make the experience perfect for them. So I love that you explained that. Yeah. And to make sure that everybody experiences it. Mm -hmm. that's, the, that's the key. So yes. um, worldwide discovery journeys. So we touch all seven continents around the world. Um, the ships are purpose built for polar region, of course. So um, and then we have an expert discovery team up to 20 members on board. Uh, um, just incredible talent that we've brought into our discovery team mm -hmm. and i mentioned two helicopters on each ship so and then a state-of-the-art uh, submarine with six to eight passengers on that and then of course scenic is, is known for our free choice our scenic and rich mm -hmm. and our immersive experiences that are always include excuse me always included perfect So what is all inclusive ultra luxury? Mm -hmm. Well, it has to do with our um, ultra luxury suites, well appointed, beautiful design, comfortable, unrivaled dining experiences, up to 10 dining um, uh, venues available, premium beverages, that means all day, every day, uh, mm -hmm. premium, indulgent spaces. So I like to think of this is not just about the spa. This is about that uh, little corner of the ship that's very cozy, comfortable, where you can curl up and, and read a book. Yes. Uh, maybe it's the, the lounge chair out on the deck. So it's it's all about um, helping you indulge in where where you're at and what mm -hmm. you're experiencing. Absolutely. All guests, yeah. All guests have butler service. Okay. Um, so and that's regardless of what uh, room category you're in. Mm -hmm. And then, as I said, our scenic discovery excursion, scenic enrich and free choice. This is all about uh, creating the experience personalized to you, what you right. want to experience. Yeah. And I am really surprised that you have 10 dining locations on, on that ship. That's great. Um, up to 10. Yeah. To 10. Wow. Amazing. Yeah. That's great. We'll take a look at that. So, mm -hmm. um, but I mean, it's all about... Uh, the the taste the 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 color the 
uh, the service. It's really touching on all the senses uh, of a yeah. culinary experience. Yeah. So I'll play a little video. Oh, good. Scenic Eclipse, the world's first discovery yachts. Relax in your own spacious, indulgent haven. Enjoy personalized service from your butler as you take in the pristine landscapes from your private balcony and enjoy the finest of amenities. Scenic Eclipse is the benchmark in ultra luxury cruising. So as you can see from the, 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 the video, I mean, it is luxury. It truly yeah. is. Yeah. yeah. And like you said, right down to the colors and, and just making you feel relaxed and serene. That's beautiful. Very, very that's something that I love about it. It's mm -hmm. not it, it. The color of the palette is, as you say, relaxing, a lot of open space, uh, just uh, clean lines. Mm -hmm. So really a class of its own, as it says. And that could be uh, just, you know, there's that chair that you want to curl up in and, and read a book or you've got the binoculars there and enjoying the view as you sail by uh, into interior where it's just uh, comfortable, casual, yet so elegant um, and just a great, great spot to uh, relax and meet new people and, and enjoy. Yes. Oh, amazing. Yeah. Those chairs look so comfortable and just to see. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I want to sit there. That's amazing. Yeah. And of course, uh, we have our 4,400 square foot open air sky bar and deck. So you can mm -hmm. uh, sip on an expertly crafted cocktail, relax in a comfortable lounger, or take in the spectacular views while you're floating around in our pool. I mean, that's uh, a lot of what cruising's all about, right? Mm -hmm. Indulging and, and, uh, relax and enjoy what's all around you take it in and and uh, just be pampered <laughs> yes absolutely I couldn't disagree with that <laughs> it's yep. state of the art so so much of our ship is state of the art and that mm -hmm. includes our uh, theater um, and so you'll have uh, you could have hosted uh, guest speakers in there mm -hmm. um, entertainment movies uh, just uh, uh, a great spot if you are um, a corporate and you want to mm -hmm. do uh, an event in there, you can use that as well. Um, charters, we do that. So um, just, uh, as I say, state-of-the-art theater for pre great presentations. Mm -hmm. So up to 10 dining experiences, the true culinary journey. So it could be just casual fare. We call all day grazing, mm -hmm. um, al fresco dining on the terrace, yeah. uh, casual yacht clubs, grill, uh, Asian fusion, Italian inspired, French fine dining, world class chef table experience, 24 hour in suite dining. The list is endless. Yes. And uh, first, uh, of course, uh, finest quality ingredients, a lot of it locally or regionally sourced, uh, inspired by the region that you're cruising in. Um, and just uh, excellent service, of course, and attention to detail. Yeah. Um, and as I said, it's about um, that touching on every sense so whether it's your taste whether it's the vision by the presentation mm -hmm. the smell everything is just captivating for uh, that culinary journey yeah. yeah I've often heard you eat with your eyes first so if it's beautifully yeah. laid out on your plate you're going to enjoy it that much more yeah definitely yeah great so um, luxury suites, of course, well appointed anywhere from 344 square feet up to 2,637 square oh, feet. Yes, wow. yes. <laughs> everything in between. So mm -hmm. uh, um, again, it's it's that comfort. It, it to me, it's it's not uh, it, they're calming colors, the palette that's used comfortable, um, well appointed luxury amenities in your suite. Uh, for in, uh, the veranda suite, uh, right through to our owner's penthouse, they have one and two bedroom suites, mm -hmm. a spa suite, panorama, yeah. panorama suite. So there's incredible views, the balconies mm -hmm. uh, from just your standard size balcony to, as you can see, a full uh, luxurious balcony with seating area, spa, 
um, just it, it, it's about enjoying that uh, the comforts of your suite as well that's mm -hmm. part of the experience it certainly is yeah beautiful and I love the size of the, of the the terraces that's incredible they were so nice and deep deep yes exactly uh so it's a world of unique experiences so mm -hmm. we do expedition voyages but that's how we sort of uh define the experiences and the cruises the the itineraries so expedition voyage of course is antarctica and the arctic mm -hmm. or discovery voyages so more like a, it's a combination a blend of expedition and cruise voyages so australia new zealand Asia, the Pacific Islands, Scotland, the Americas. So uh, a little bit of a discovery, yeah. but also immersive where you're, um, you know, on land enjoying the, mm -hmm. the culture and where you are. And cruise voyages, I think of those a little more relaxed. Um, you really are immersed into the shore exploration. So Europe, the Med, Japan, uh, um, just... It, it, being able to experience um, who who you're cruising with, where you're <laughs> cruising, and the the culture, the country of where you're cruising to. Right, which is very important. You're there to explore and to dig deep into that destination, which is why you're going there. So that's great that you provide those opportunities uh, to really immerse yourself. Correct. Of course, how you how you immerse yourself, mm -hmm. uh, your choice, helicopter. Yeah, <laughs> everybody talks about the helicopter. So mm -hmm. uh, two on board every vessel on each vessel. And uh, this is one thing that you would have to pay additional fee for. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, kayaks on board, stand up paddle boards. I mentioned the submarine um, really about how are you going to immerse yourself at the adventure? Yeah. Uh, yeah. So just that world of discovery, there's so many ways to do it. Yes, absolutely. And I mean, who doesn't want to take a kayak in between glaciers or ice sheets and oh, that would be so amazing to get so close to those. And, uh, you know, and, and the wildlife will also be out there. You'll probably see seals and possibly whales and other things. Um, and just being so close to to those experiences is incredible yes and i mean we've got video of of some of our guests that are on the stand up paddle boards and mm -hmm. and you see a whale breach right near them and i mean what a, a life changing uh, um, you know a memory for a lifetime to have that happen Absolutely. Um, and that's you know that's what we're about we're trying mm -hmm. to create those memories for a lifetime they're Absolutely. they're unique one of one of a kind experiences mm -hmm. uh so as i mentioned we have the submarine so mm -hmm. redefining underwater exploration truly state of the art the latest technology uh mm -hmm. we can dive up to 100 meters below the surface uh crystal clear uh acrylic sphere so you're able to see out unrestricted views um and of course a comprehensive safe return to surface procedures mm -hmm. um just uh, certain areas where we can use the submersible and uh, I mean, why, why, why limit your exploration to land and, and above when you yeah. can explore below as well? Yes. And there's so much to see below. Um, it's just incredible. Those coral reefs um, that are down there or, you know, if you're looking at a glacier, well, how deep is it? Well, we're going to find out because you hear it's just so little in the top compared to underneath. Um, underneath. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Absolutely. <laughs> Um, and I have to show this picture. I think this is probably mm -hmm. one of my favorite pictures. Uh, the the D discover our expedition voyages. Uh, as I said, we've set the benchmark for um, Antarctica. Our program there with two hundred guests on board, which means everybody has the opportunity to get off the ship and explore. Mm -hmm. Um, this one, this picture just gives me goosebumps every time I look at it. And it's not just about. Uh, the guests that that ultimate experience mm -hmm. but the crew when they watch guests walk off that ship for the first time and set foot on the ice in Antarctica is exhilarating for them mm -hmm. it, it's, it's so exciting that they get to know that they're a part of this mm -hmm. you know one of a kind ultimate experience so it, it's life-changing for so many people 
Absolutely incredible. Wow. And yeah, the fact I know I love this to, picture. I know. And the fact you don't have to take a tender to get ashore and you don't have to transfer from a zodiac and then try to get out. You're literally stepping off the ship onto the ice. That is just phenomenal. Wow. Yeah, I mean, we can, with the, the size of the ship and the design with the polar class, we're able to get into the uh, regions that mm -hmm. other vessels can't um, and being able to actually, you know, um, pull up alongside like yeah, that. It's, a, it's, it's an ice dock is what I say. Mm -hmm. um, but because of our state of the art, we don't have to drop anchor in uh, sensitive areas because of our GPS positioning mm -hmm. equipment on board um just uh just taking care of the areas we're visiting is is so important yes yeah and this we have sonar so we can uh, map out the seafloor and ice so that mm -hmm. that again allows us to navigate into these regions safely incredible wow yeah. you probably will hit on it and if you are ignore my question but you would provide the jackets and the boots and the things that you need there correct Correct. So we have the uh, boots on board and the jacket, which the guest gets to keep. Yes. Um, and uh, then um, some, what we can do is partner with a, a third party for gloves, the pants, um, you know, thermal underwear, that sort of thing. Our guests mm -hmm. are welcome to bring their own. Um, yeah. uh, when a guest books, they'll get an advisory. They'll uh, uh, get to pick out if they want to rent it. Mm -hmm. or they can bring their own but the guests will all be provided with that information yeah, boots are very booked. important when you're visiting these areas yeah yes yeah provide yeah. it if they don't happen to remember to bring it or if they prefer not to pack it so that's good right so that that sort of thing has to be uh, rented ahead of time so mm -hmm. there's lots of information comes out uh, to the guests once they're booked uh, mm -hmm. so that they can decide you know yeah I'm going to rent this equipment on board rather than packing it uh, yes. But the, as you say, the jackets, the uh, boots, everything like that will be on board. Yeah. Great. Okay. Yeah. And again, just to touch on state of the art, our technology and sustainability, mm -hmm. because I think that's really important for people to understand um, that we are polar class six rating, um, the oversized stabilizers, the GPS dynamic positioning. That's what I was mentioning, where we could just drop, we didn't have to drop anchor in sensitive areas. Um, the the sonar, uh, mm -hmm. the list is extensive of um, the the technology and the sustainability that this company uh, goes to great lengths to make sure yeah. um, that what you're experiencing is world class. Mm -hmm. Fabulous. So where do we uh, sail? Uh, <laughs> so the scenic eclipse. Um, as you can see, so this is starting October 2024, but it gives you a full uh, calendar year to be able to see where we go. Central and South America, of course, the Antarctic and in uh, starting now, November. So when it's winter mm -hmm. here in Canada, we're in Antarctica. Um, we do South America and transatlantic. So what it, those are is as they're coming from Central and South America, they're working their way down, obviously, to the um, Antarctica and then working their way back up and then heading over to Europe and the Mediterranean. Mm -hmm. um, so 2025, Scandinavia and the Arctic. And then again, they'll work their way back down over to um, South Central and South America and into mm -hmm. the um, Antarctic region. Uh, and then that's what we're the eclipse is known for is the Antarctic program. Yeah. But as I said, we're around the world. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. And then the scenic eclipse too, uh, mm -hmm. Fiji and the Pacific Islands, New Zealand. Uh, this vessel does go into Antarctica and the Ross Sea, Australia, Indonesia, Borneo, Japan, South Korea, the Kimberley coastlines, which is really exciting coming up. Uh, a very uh, remote, untouched region of Australia. Of course, with the company being from Australia, we are very excited to showcase this region. Mm -hmm. um, areas that are, are untouched and can only be accessed maybe by Zodiac or, mm -hmm. so this is an exciting new uh, region for us as well. Yeah, wow. Yeah. Exciting. So as around that's, the world beautiful areas <laughs> my goodness it literally is you know touching all the parts of the world that you're going to want to visit 
all seven continents. So that's exciting. Mm -hmm. um, and then really, it's, uh, it, we just want you to, you know, is there a region that you've always wanted to explore? Uh, so help let us help you discover more for mm -hmm. 2024 and 2025. Uh, our itineraries are open. And uh, that's an overview of scenic eclipse. There's just so much more to talk about, but I mean, I could be here all day talking about it. Absolutely. We were talking about that earlier, how we could literally sit here and talk about cruising and it's like, oh no, we have to do a cruise chat. I better start recording. Yeah. Uh, but it was just incredible. That's great. I loved that overview. That was just, you know, a really nice broad overview of where you sail, what to expect and, and all that. And we're going to dive deeper. So the next time that I have the opportunity to meet with you, uh, we are definitely going to be looking at some of the itineraries and really, really deep at the ships as well. So make sure you guys are subscribed because I want you to be able to see these, but more importantly, reach out to me info at plenty of sunshine travel.com. I can get you on board and I have the contacts with Mary Lynn. If you need anything at all, when you're on board or anything, I can get your questions answered instantly. So I'm definitely here for you. Make sure that you reach out info plenty of sunshine travel.com. But thank you, Mary Lynn, for putting that together. That was just phenomenal. I really loved seeing that overview. And uh, I want to thank you again for doing that and for meeting with me. Thank you so much. No problem. And I so hope everybody has a great week and we'll see you guys next time. Bye everybody. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching this week's cruise chat with Mary Lynn. It was really nice to see Scenic's offering beautiful, beautiful ships. And I love that we were able to see where they sail throughout the whole year. And make sure that if you're interested in sailing with either Scenic or Emerald, because I'm going to be putting out two videos this week. Um, one is going to be the Scenic um, part that when I met with her that you've just watched, and the other one is going to be Emerald Cruises. So make sure that you watch the other video as well. Uh, if you're interested in getting on board, make sure you reach out to me. The, the luxury lines always sell from the top down, whereas the mass market cruises, the Royal Caribbean, the um, Norwegian cruise lines, they sell the uh, from the bottom up. So they sell the insides, the ocean view, and then up. So there's always room, you know, to get those good suites that you definitely want. But the smaller ships, the ultra luxuries, um, the all-inclusive ships, those ones sell from the top down. They only usually have one, maybe two owner suites, and they seem to sell out so fast. And then, of course, the grand suites and all the other ones. So just make sure that you have contacted me to get you on that waiting list. I absolutely want to make sure that you get the sailing and the ship that you're really wanting to do, the sailing and the itinerary, um, the dates you want, and the room you want. So make sure you reach out to me, info at plenty of sunshine travel.com. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. So if you're listening to this on the Cruise in the Waves podcast or you're watching this on YouTube, either way, make sure you've subscribed and you can get the notification whenever a new video comes out. So remember, there's going to be two videos this week. So just tune into the next one right away. Make sure you go and look at that because it's there waiting for you. Bye for now, guys, and we'll see you next week or on board. Bye.